Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Gemini, this is how your person is feeling about you. So if there is a specific person you have in mind and you're wondering about what their true feelings are, what their overall level of interest is in you, please keep watching. This reading's for you. It is general, so of course if it doesn't resonate, feel free to check out your other placements. This one's focusing on my Geminis or anyone with strong Gemini in their chart. How is your person feeling about you for the month of December 2020? How is your person feeling about you, Gemini? If you like the reading, don't forget to hit that um, like button, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Gemini, what is going on? How does your person feel, Gemini, for December 2020? How does your person feel? Ace of Cups wanted to pop out there. That's really lovely energy. Nice, loving, new love energy. Gemini, how does your person feel? How does your person feel? We've got Nine of Wands, Justice, Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Swords, Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay, very interesting, Gemini. So you're coming across to this person as the Nine of Wands. So, Gemini, they're seeing you as quite guarded, actually, a little bit defensive. Um, it's very interesting, a little bit battle-weary. It's possible, Gemini, you've come out of um, come out of a long relationship or come out of a relationship which has left you with a little bit of baggage or maybe even just a little bit tired, a little bit weary. Maybe it was sort of a, a bad breakup or a long breakup or something that upset you, um, something that made you... I don't want to say give up on relationships. I don't think you have. But it's maybe just... Uh, made you tired, made you just a, a little bit a little bit over the whole relationship thing. Um, but you're coming across as a little bit defensive. It also could be the way you're just reacting to this person for some reason. Like maybe this person has kind of triggered something in you um, which made you a little bit defensive for some reason. But that's how this person is seeing you. This person is also finding it a little bit difficult to approach you. Um, and you may find that a little bit hard to believe. You may be feeling like, no, you've, you know, you've been talking to this person as normal. You've been sociable, whatever. But they are actually seeing you as a little bit hard to approach. They're a little bit um, worried about, you know, what the best way forward is because they're seeing you in that sort of defensive kind of frame of mind. So that's really interesting. They're coming across as justice. You could be dealing with a Libra, someone with strong Libra in their chart. Um, but yeah, this person is coming across as very um, fair, open, honest. They want um, they want to break this down. This person wants to break down um, your barriers, your defenses, the wall that you've put up around yourself for whatever reason. They are seeing that as, as, as a barrier, as a barrier to good communication, as a barrier to the relationship moving forward or any potential relationship um, getting off the ground. And so they, um, they're putting in the time, they're putting in the work, they're willing to have the patience to actually break down this barrier, Gemini. And, you know, I almost feel like they're going to be quite successful in doing it. Maybe not yet. But um, this person is a very sort of logical, rational thinker. I think that's something that if you don't realize, if you haven't realized it already, it's something you're going to respect quite a lot about this person. And so just purely for the fact that this person is going to come to you, um, you know, not in an aggressive way, just in a very kind of balanced, logical, rational kind of way, um, it's going to almost, yeah, it, it's going to slowly chip away at this wall you've got put up this is the person who can do it you know maybe you've dealt with other people who have been unable to get through to you gemini and i feel like this person is going to be successful or has been maybe the most successful out of anyone that you've dealt with thus far this person has been the most successful at getting through to you because they're doing it in a calm manner they're doing it in a balanced manner um, they're doing it in a very sort of rational calm way and you are slowly slowly but surely letting down those defenses 
it's like brick by brick, by brick they're going to sort of um, take your wall down, <laughs> Gemini. That's really nice. It's, it's really nice that someone has sort of the patience, the strength to do that and is willing to do that. It's almost like this person has a very clear um, vision or clear understanding of where it is that you're coming from and what you've been through. They, this person knows um, why you're coming across like this why you're being defensive, why you put up these barriers, why you're a little bit, um, this could even just be for some of you, um, you know, you, you, you're just not as emotionally expressive or you're just, you've got that little bit of a wall up, but this person gets it. This person understands where that comes from. And so that's why, because they have that high level of understanding Maybe they've been through it before. This is either a very intelligent person or it's possible that they've had similar kind of um, situations in their life in the past. They've been through it and so they understand it. Because they have that higher level of understanding, it's enabling them to get through your defenses. Slowly but surely. I really like that. Um, deeper level of feelings or deeper feelings they have for you, we've got the page of wands. So this person, um, for being so such a mature energy in in this um, in this position here, this is a little bit less mature. This to me is like big, big physical attraction. So Gemini, this person's very attracted to you. I think that's it. But um, more than that, more than that, you get this person um, feeling enthusiastic about the future, feeling enthusiastic about the connection. This person might find the conversations that you two have quite funny, quite entertaining. They like the sort of entertainment value of the conversations that you two share. Um, and yeah, whether you know it or not, they, they find you quite funny. Um, you know, you, you may be coming up with some sort of um, maybe sarcastic comments or, or comments that are a little bit tongue in cheek. And some people may, may look at that and get a little bit turned off or find you a little bit unapproachable. But this person gets it. This person gets your humor, gets your sort of level of intellect and they find you quite funny. And there's definitely that physical attraction there. Definitely on their side. It could be mutual, but this is their feeling. So that physical attraction is there. What they like about the connection is the Ten of Cups. So, I mean, doesn't this say it all? This is, you know, ultimate emotional happiness, ultimate emotional fulfillment. This person is seeing the potential here of you being their Ten of Cups. Whatever emotional fulfillment means to you and this person, this person is seeing that it's possible with you. It's, it's getting them that excited. It's a little bit sort of dreamy at this stage. And that could be why... This person has so much patience with you, Gemini, because they're seeing um, and they're thinking bigger picture. They're thinking long term. And when they think long term, they can see you two um, in that sort of long term, happy, emotionally fulfilled connection. And therefore, they're willing to put in the effort. They're willing to show that maturity. They're willing to, even though they've got that, you know, super um, hot, you know, passionate physical attraction, they're willing to sort of keep that a little bit um, more under control because they see the future potential here. When we have what they don't like, it's interesting in this position, we've got the Knight of Cups here. In this reading, I'm actually not reading this as a negative at all. I'm reading that as a positive. Um, I'm just thinking that maybe this person is still considering what the best way of approaching is. I feel as though because you're in this kind of energy, this kind of defensive, um, unreceptive sort of energy, standing strong, um, this person might sometimes find it quite difficult to uh, come through with that more emotional level of communication. So even though they're dreaming of this and this is their end goal, they're finding it difficult to come through with that emotional offer. You know, it might even be difficult to, to say things like, I like you, I'm interested, I love you, whatever the case may be. They're finding a little a little bit um, difficult to do that. The emotional communication between you two is, is a little bit tricky. 
Um, and maybe maybe they're not the best at um, communicating in an emotional way either. And so with the combination of the two of you, mm-hmm. it just makes, makes that all the more um, difficult. Overall level of interest here, we've got the Page of Swords. So this person, like I said, got two pages here. So I'm still feeling like it's sort of an early kind of connection. I, I, that's that's my feeling. I, I don't I don't think that um, you two have been seeing each other for that long or have been involved for that long. It could be that you're just sort of meeting each other through mutual friends at the moment. That's that's possible here with the page and the um, three of cups there. Um, or it could be that you two are in a connection, but it's just taking a little bit of time to get off the ground. And, and again, your person is sort of having a little bit of difficulty getting through to you. But overall, um, I feel that your, your person, Gemini, is quite excited by um, the, the sort of mental uh, connection that you two share. They're excited by the sort of um, ideas for the future, um, yeah, that sort of fresh spark of inspiration that you inspire in this person. They really, really like that. Once again, more air energy. So again, another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, that you could be dealing with. But yeah, th- this person is interested in in really sort of sparking things and, and getting things to that next stage. There's just a little bit of uncertainty as to how to communicate in, in a more emotional kind of way. But the attraction is there, the mental connection is there, they're patient and they're willing to get things going because they see this ultimate outcome of the Ten of Cups here. Beautiful energy. And again, once again, Three of Cups, celebration, reunion. It's possible that this is, um, you know, someone from the past, reconciliation type thing. It's possible. Or you two could know each other through friends. But either way, lots of happy energy here. Eight of Wands, um, lots of sort of quick communication. So I feel like the communication um, between you and this person is good and, and, it's, and it's active and it's going to ramp up um, during the month of December. And maybe you two are finally going to have, you know, find a way to get that more emotional communication flowing. Um, but ultimately, yeah, really positive reading, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching.